Thinking about a Chromebook in 2024? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today, by request, Johnny has asked about Chromebooks. Are they worth it? Should you get one over an iPad or an Android tablet? Let's talk about the Chromebook in particular and help you decide if it's worth your money. But before we get started, be sure to like this video if you found it useful, click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. So let's talk about the Chromebook and why you might even be considering one. Chromebooks came out in 2011, and back in 2011, laptops were not as thin and light as they are today. Google introduced the Chromebook as this lightweight device that could run all your Google apps. It was great. It was like having a full laptop without the added bulk of a laptop a slim portable device that you could run all your applications on. The iPad had just come out a year earlier and it definitely was not the iPad we have today. So a Chromebook was a really good alternative. Flash forward to today, and before we get into whether or not you should get a Chromebook, I'd first ask, what do you want to do with a Chromebook? You've got so many choices. Are you using this for work or personal? Are you an Apple or Android? And not as important, but are you Google or Microsoft? I would say that if you're using an iPhone, an iPad is probably gonna be the way to go, especially if this is for personal use. Now, some will argue that you don't need an iPad if you're an iPhone user, and to that I would agree. If you wanna branch out and use iOS and Android, you should. If you've got an iPhone, using an iPad is just easier. You're on the same OS, everything just syncs between your devices. The same holds true if you use an Android phone. So now we're in the Android world, and that opens up some options. Chromebooks run Chrome OS, whereas just about all Android tablets and phones run Android OS. There are differences between these two OSs. Android OS is the base layer on phones like a Pixel or a Samsung phone. However, manufacturers like Samsung will skin the OS with their own features which is why some will get a Google Pixel to get the cleanest Android experience. Well, Chrome OS is a somewhat stripped down version of Android OS in its cleanest Android experience. So Chromebook or tablet. You can get a Chromebook with a touchscreen or you can go lightweight and get an Android tablet. And I would say if you're gonna get an Android tablet, it's definitely worth checking out Samsung. They make great tablets. And I know quite a few people that use an iPhone with a Samsung Android tablet too. This is a Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5. It's a 13 inch OLED touchscreen with a detachable keyboard. There are so many Chromebook options available. This is a newer model Chromebook that is actually really nice. I'd say mid range in price and it's not too bulky. All right, so what exactly is a Chromebook? Because Chrome OS is a stripped down version of Android OS, it makes sense for Chromebooks to find their way into schools or on less expensive hardware. That makes a Chromebook a good low-cost device for someone who needs office applications and a good web browser. Chromebooks have a solid version of Google Chrome. You can run extensions on Chrome, but one thing I found lacking was that you cannot set up profiles on Chrome. To be fair, you can't run extensions on Chrome on iOS or Android OS either. You can log into your Google profile in Chrome on iOS and Android OS, but you can't switch profiles like you can on your Mac or PC. However, I thought this would be a given on a Chromebook. If I have my personal profile set up on Chrome and I wanna to switch to my work profile, I'd have to create a new profile on my Chromebook and then log out of one of those profiles and into the other. That said, it's a nice desktop experience on a Chromebook. I like the wallpaper and screensaver options. You have the Google Play Store and it's easy to download and install apps. Like iOS and Android, some apps display on tablet size screens better than others. If you're looking for a productivity device and you're in the Google ecosystem, I think a Chromebook is a great option. Chromebooks also have a Chrome browser experience very close to what you get on a Mac or PC. But you might have better options going with an Android tablet something more portable, slimmer, and potentially with wireless options as well. Like an iPad, I think Android tablets are good media consumption devices that can provide productivity when you don't need to have your laptop nearby. So Johnny, I hope this gives you some good information on whether or not a Chromebook is a good idea. Of course, I'd love to hear what you all think as well. 
drop a note below and let us know if you're a fan of Chromebooks. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.